Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 46, and this is war number 5, and we're going up against an alliance, I, let me see, Alumkul, Bolji, I have no idea if I said that correctly, probably not. Uh, let's see, who did they ban? Alright, um, we've got, let's see, alright, that's not too bad. At least they are not uh, champions that I normally bring in to war. Um, Archangel, I don't usually bring him. Hercules is usually in Alliance Quest. And uh, Kingpin, I think I have my Kingpin on uh, defense. All right, let's see what they got planned for us here. All right, so we've got at least no global defender, and neither one of these benefit from the node, so I can just bring in straight counters. You know, if I wanted to bring in Human Torch, I could do that. Um, I might just bring in a Hulkling. Hulkling should be able to handle both of them, but let, let's see what we got. Okay, so Hulkling, I'm looking at this, and I think Hulkling can take, he should be able to take three of these at least, maybe four. I'm worried about that Sandman. Since he's a global defender, and normally you've seen what I did last uh, war where I brought uh, Nick Fury. But no, can't do that. Uh, he is uh, bleed immune. So I'm going to have to ask and see what people think as far as a counter for that one. But yeah, uh, Hulkling can handle that future Ant-Man. He can handle um, Shuri. And I believe he can handle Mangog. But we'll see. I may bring in somebody else uh, for them. But let's see. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I really don't like taking on global uh, defenders. It's just a drain on resources. That's that's all it is right now. It's horrible what they've done. Okay, let me see. Power snack. So if I bring OG Iron Man, I could take this apocalypse. Yeah, I can take that apocalypse. So now I, I need to uh, talk to him before because I'll like set up my team and then he'll assign me somebody else. And the, the person that I brought in for the um, mini doesn't even get used because that's the only reason I was bringing him. So uh, what I will do is um, I'll put down Hulkling. For sure, I'll see who is a good counter for that Sandman, and I will bring them, and then I'll just say I have an open slot and suggest that I could bring OG Iron Man for that Apocalypse. It would probably give me some fight that's more annoying. But we shall see. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay. Going in with Hulkling, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and Quicksilver. 
Now, you guys may not have seen Spider-Man Stark in hands for a very long time. With this meta, he might be back. So I'm very happy to bring Starkey back. And by the time you see this, I will already have done the video that I ranked him up to rank four. And I ranked him up to rank four just before this particular war here. Okay. But anyway, so first fight is going to be uh, Quicksilver against Mangog. Now, this Mangog was very straightforward, but I played horribly, all right? So right there, shouldn't have done that. I should be hitting him with a, a parry, heavy, and then dashing back to build up so I don't have to worry about his um, unstoppable. I did it finally, but late. And then for some reason, I couldn't get the, the parry to work, and then you saw how he dexed me. I'm like, what? is going on so i pushed him back because he was too close to me and it looked like he wanted to fire his special two i got him to fire the special one that was great so now we're pushing him back pushing him back all right and i didn't build up enough okay so you see the uh whiplashes i let them die out so it did some damage but not what it could have okay so i'm building back up again fire off my special uh, two, which did, you know, decent amount of damage. And I'm still in control, but I took a lot more damage than I really wanted to in this fight already. And I know I'm going to need Quicksilver later. So that means more healing up. Okay, whatever. So now I just knew he was going to fire that off. So I was just waiting for that. All right, so we've got 22 whiplashes on him and going up. Here we go. Yeah, that is what it should have looked like way earlier. He wouldn't have even gotten to his special two if I had played that one correctly. So that was my fault. We still were able to get full attack bonus, but I could have played that one a whole lot better. So that's my fault. Can't blame the meta or anything like that on that particular one. Now, Shuri, of course I'm going to use Hulkling, right? I ain't too worried about her. I can't parry her, but that's fine, because I want to hit into the block anyway. Okay? So, we good. Yep, here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, yep, yep. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, she's got those um, charges up there. I forgot what they're called, but I know if she does a heavy attack, she's going to go untouchable. So, I'm trying to bait this out. I'm trying to bait this out. Trying to bait this out. Trying to bait this out. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that fun? And now, boom, she goes untouchable. So now I'm still got to wait. Still can't attack. Still waiting. Okay, now we can finally get back to what we were doing. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. All right, here we go. Yep, just wait for it. There we go. Finally. Wasn't that fun? Anyway, you could tell I'm not really a big fan of the AI and, and how difficult it is sometimes to get them to even throw a special these days. But anyway, we cleared our path in Section 1. No dying, so that's always a good thing. Next up, we've got Sandman. Now, this is why I brought Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Okay, this is the fight. I was looking here and I'm like, okay, who am I going to use for Sandman? So I asked in uh, our war chat and one of the guys has a rank five ascended Starkey. And I'm like, hey, because I love Starkey. Y'all know I love Starkey. And I had gotten him, you know, a while ago and I kept wanting to rank him up. I was going to rank somebody else up, but for this fight, yeah. So the basic strategy, build up your poise because there's no benefit to him on this node. Okay. So all I want to do, build up my poise charges. Okay. Pretty straightforward. All right. Once I get to 10, now it's on. Bam. 
Let's get him. All right. Now we got to be careful. OK, because he's a global defender. So I backed off right there. Boom. Now he's got no power. Ha ha ha. All right. Now we're going in again. Boom. Hit him. Bam. Stun. Go in again. And I miscalculated just a little bit. So he had still some health. So I just baited that out. You saw I, I was holding my block so he wouldn't throw his special. Now, if my Spider-Man was um, higher ranked, that would have been it for that fight uh, when I did that combo. What I needed to do was to hit him a couple of times just before the special, uh, before he got that bar of power, and then go in. And then I could have done a, a full you know, combo and got him down. But it worked out. Now, even if he had fired his special off, I may have been able to evade it. But that's why I put the um, uh, invulnerability boost on, just in case. So I would have been okay, but I wanted to do that anyway. All right. Now we've got future Ant-Man, who's pretty straightforward to fight. You know, um, Hulkling is immune to shock. So we're not too worried about that. And he's acting funny because I was like, come on, why don't you back up and block? All right, here we go. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build up to a special two so that I can go unblockable and then hit him with my special two. All right, so I'm trying to get him to fire that special. So I'm getting him to fire that special. There we go, finally. But I don't have my charges anymore because he waited until they were done. That's why he was so quick with it. Look at that. He dashed back, so I still couldn't hit into his block. I'm like, come on, man. All right, now, there we go. I'm unblockable. There we are. Yeah. Look at all that juicy damage. All right, so now I'll just back it up a little bit. Come on. Fire that special. Come on. There we go. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay, back up. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, he fired that off. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, yep, yep. Unblockable. Yeah. Damn. Nice. Path cleared smoothly, I might add. Okay? No shenanigans except sometimes my parry was not working quite right and things like that, but whatever. Okay? We got her done. Now. I was assigned this next fight, and by the time I went to fight, we already knew we were going to lose. Uh, so the war was called, pretty much. Um, so I was going to be uh, getting a little revenge on that spider ham, as you see up there. You remember when I fought Spider-Ham with Corvus and the issues I had. Now, they put, you know, some pre-fights, WAGs pre-fights on him and everything, but because I already knew we were going to lose this war, I wasn't even worried about this fight. So there's no point in me putting on um, the really big boy boost. I thought about healing. I really did. Because I was like, man, if we're already going to lose, <clears throat> should I use my health potions? And I was just like, you know what? Let me just go in and at least give it one try. You know, you know, I got my pride, you know, let's go one try. Now, I didn't do a invulnerability boost. Remember what happened during that fight. OK, so I'm thinking, yeah, I probably need an invulnerability boost on this fight. But since I already know, you know, it's like no way we can win this war. Just, you know, get him down. I'm like, all right. But I just want to see how this fight would go. All right. So here we go. Parry. Heavy. And now build up to 300. All right. Here we go. Bam. All right. Now, all we got to do at this point is bait out special ones. That's it. That's all we got to do. All right. Here we go. Hey, it worked this time. What do you know? Go figure. So I'm like, yeah, we got this. All right, come on. All right. Oh, hey. Hey, look at that. Ain't that working right? 
We good. And then I did that. I didn't look for his poppers on me. And it took away all my health. And I said, oh, dang it. So I'm like, all right, we just need to get him, uh, you know, all there. Look at that. We're baiting. He's going to, I said, okay, I just need to. And again, it failed on me. Now, all that time I've been evading it. And I'm just like, yeah, we got this. We got this. Yeah, just need to. Now, one thing I did that I messed up, the earlier combo should have been a medium light medium to pop those um, whiplashes and, and get them to detonate. And we probably would have won right then and there. But I'm like, whatever. Now, if I had had an invulnerability boost on, that would have been fine. I would have gotten hit, bam, bam, still had an invulnerability, and I would have just gone in, popped the popper, uh, popped the uh, whiplashes, and we would have been good. So notice all I did was um, uh, uh, go in, just revive, right? So I'm like, all right, we should be good. This time I need to just watch for the, um, you know, power stings. Okay, here we go. So let's let's get a little do over. We good? Okay. All we got to do is bait out the special ones. We're good. All right. So here we go. Come on, get that special one out. There we go. Special one. Yeah. We're doing good. We got it. The evade worked. We're we're happy. We know we know how to evade that, right? Uh, are y'all sure that I know how to evade it? But apparently I can't evade his special his regular attacks. Okay, so we were able to evade the special this time, but not the regular attacks. Okay, so at this point, I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, we got one AB left, and I know that we have already lost this war, all right? So I asked, I said, so what do you want me to do? We have one AB left. Do you want me just to get him down? Because I can just go in and, you know, keep reviving or just use my other champs and see how they do, you know. Um, but he will go down. That's the thing. And um, after waiting for a little while, he came back and he said, just just get it down. Just get it down. So I'm like, OK. So I went back in and I used Starkey. And I also ended up using Hulkling. And we eventually got him down. All right. Um, but anyway, as I said, we were pretty sure that this war was a loss. So we'll be back in a minute. And we'll all find out how this war actually ended. <laughs> And we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war. We knew the war was lost even before I had started that last fight. So we just needed to get stuff done. Uh, as you can see, we didn't even fully explore. Um, we waited till the last minute, apparently. Um, you know, it's the holidays, and people are off doing th stuff with their families, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, shout out to our MVPs here. And that is going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.